what's up you guys so i think this is a new vlog that i'm starting about my apartment search because i just ended the last one which was my first day of touring apartments today i didn't say it in that vlog because i didn't want to like give anything away but i am in the process of applying to one of the apartments that i looked at if you want to go watch that if you haven't seen it definitely go watch it it's the last vlog i uploaded which is like my first day of touring apartments and i looked at three apartments today and i fell in love with the last one it's small but it's honestly like perfect everything else that i wanted i feel like with living spaces you just really have to go with like a feeling you could read a list of amenities and look at pictures online and it's perfect and everything checks off all the boxes but then like once you go there and it doesn't feel like somewhere you could live or it doesn't feel like a home it's not right you know what i mean it's kind of like dating it's like they could be every perfect thing you've ever wanted for someone and then you have no chemistry. Just felt it and it felt right. So I'm applying to it. I'm really excited, but I'm also nervous because like, what if I don't get approved or what if someone else gets it before me? But I already emailed the lady. I just realized that I'm in front of a fan and it might be kind of loud, so hopefully it's not. I told her that I want to apply for it. She's like, great, okay. So I just filled out the application form and then sent like credit score stuff. But I'm surprised at just like how much information they need. Obviously, like it depends on the landlord and the realtor and everything. Thing. the new york market it's just so much information i feel like in the past when i've applied to apartments um and just what i'm familiar with it's usually just like an application form and then like a proof of income thing and maybe like a tax return just in case you guys are curious i don't know if you'll find this interesting i mean that's literally what this video series is about is like what it's like actually apartment hunting in new york i'll need two months big statements last two pay stubs employment letter last two years of tax returns photo id and a landlord reference letter or something showing that you've paid your last six months of rent on time so tonight i just sent her my application form and like a screenshot of my credit score she wanted to send that to the landlord initially to get like conditional like go ahead to apply so it's like an application for an application <laughs> and then i'll send the rest of this stuff tomorrow and she said it can be a really quick turnaround i don't know i just really really like this one and i'm glad that i found this like so soon and i don't even think i said in that video but it's like exactly my price range what i expected to pay it's kind of late i want to go to bed but i just thought i would do that little update because i was sending the application stuff so i was like i might as well vlog this part because people might find it interesting Good morning. I was just about to head out and finish the application materials and do some other work. I realized that I haven't really showed you my Airbnb besides like this little room. Since I'm talking about apartments and stuff, I might as well show you the apartment that I'm staying in for my Airbnb. It's a two bedroom. So, I mean, I love the tall ceilings in this room and the big windows. Um, it's a pretty good size. There's a little entryway. And then this is the only bathroom, I think. Shared bathroom. But it's honestly pretty spacious. This is the kitchen. Like this place is pretty huge considering the places i've looked at there's everything here there's an island there's not a microwave but like that's their own choice and this little area is so cute the huge windows and the plants with the table and they just have these little cushions on the ground and there's me the other room back there with a couple big closets and there's me again and that's the front door so Pretty cute little place. Got a cold brew with oat milk. Time to get to work. It's <laughs> much later now. I've been nothing super thrilling to report, but I just wanted to mention I've been doing it so much like back and forth, emailing, contacting, trying to pull together documents, getting this letter from that person. I guess I was just like a little unprepared going into the apartment thing because I didn't expect the first day to actually like really really want a place and apply immediately i thought i was just like dipping my feet in the water to tour them i didn't put face makeup on today to show so i just wasn't expecting like all the lengths of documentation you would need maybe it is like this in a lot of places but i'm just in my past experience when i was renting in a house for college in my apartment in dc it was not like this much documentation it's a little complicated because i'm self-employed and so i don't have like that easy pay stub like i have income coming from different points so then i had to go to my accountant and be like hey can you write this letter that like proves that i have this income blah 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 that's advice i would give if you're going through this process too which might have been like a no-brainer to some people but i didn't expect so no i guess i just would have 
have a list to begin with and then like pulled the documents together before I even looked at places because then if I liked a place and knew I wanted to apply, I could immediately just be like, okay, here's my folder full of the completed documents you need to, for my application. But it's okay, we pulled it all together today. We're just waiting for, I had to have the realtor send like a rental verification to my last landlord or it's a leasing agent we're waiting on her to send like verification that i paid my last six months of rent and all that so that's the drama that's going on with the application process it's really not that dramatic it's just me kind of scrambling because i didn't know what i would need and i think i'm putting this pressure on myself because i don't want someone who was fully prepared before to go in love the apartment and then send all of their perfected documents straight away and beat me to it i think i'll be in the clear because the realtor hasn't said anything about like hey you really need to hurry on this because we have other people sending in applications um i don't know but i'm just hoping for the best anyway i'm about to go to the gym all in my fabletics and workout clothes i'm actually gonna go try crunch fitness it's a chain but they have a gym really close to this airbnb so i just signed up for a little three-day trial online i'm gonna go do arms because my legs still feel kind of rough from berries. <laughs> I'm gonna go work off some of this like nervous energy I've built up of the stress of all the paperwork. There is 750K and now this offer. Give me something sweet. Okay. What she said? She said you're gonna take a hit. I just, I'm literally like randomly on the water by the ferry in New York. I just was walking around and just exploring. I just checked my email and I got approved for the apartment. <laughs> crowd goes wild. Me, I'm the crowd and I'm the only one going wild. Oh my god, I was like, I'm like speechless. I'm so excited. Congrats, you've been conditionally approved. Please. Use the following link to run the credit. So even though I sent her uh, a screenshot of my credit score, she's gonna do like formal check. Um, and then she goes, when would you like to sign the lease and move in? Ah, I got the perfect! I like wasn't expecting, I don't know. I, I was feeling like nervous, like something was gonna go wrong. I'm gonna respond to her email and call my parents and freak out some more. And drink my overpriced latte I got from La Cologne. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna put this away now. Department. I'm headed back toward Brooklyn. I'm gonna walk across the Brooklyn Bridge just because it's fun. It's a nice day, so we're gonna get those views. And now the fun logistical stuff begins with the apartment. I submitted the information online for the credit report. Set up an appointment with the realtor on Sunday to go get the keys and sign the lease and everything. So it's super exciting. But I have to get like cashier's checks um, for the deposit in the first month and everything. So my bank isn't in New York. So my mom is helping me out. Thank God, bless her soul. She's going to the location by her and like seeing the options. And then I might go to the gym later. For the next part of this vlog, I'm not moving in yet, but I want to go to like the container store and go to a couple stores and just get some ideas because as you guys saw, it's a very small studio. So we're gonna get creative with some storage and look for things you might want to have in the apartment. I called my mom yesterday and told her that I got the apartment and we were like freaking out together and I wish I had vlogged it because we were like, ah, like screaming on the phone to get, well, maybe that's good that I didn't vlog it. But yes, we were already talking about like furniture and ideas. in the container store now and I'm thinking something like this could actually be really useful like how I need to make storage out of furniture and such so this is like a little it's called box bench maybe at the foot of your bed or something and it's a storage box but then you can also sit on top of it so yeah it's by the brand Poppin which has all the overpriced like cute solid color stuff that Target sells for office stuff but they have this one that's $40 when it's usually 80 which is ridiculous it could be really nice also I already apologize for my nails but I decided I'm not gonna get them done again until after the move so I should probably at least repaint them but now that I've drawn attention to that this could be a good option so I'm gonna keep this in mind I don't think I'm gonna buy anything today just because I actually want to go in the apartment again take measurements um, get a better feel for it. I'm definitely getting ideas. So they have it in this blush color too, which is pretty. I think I'm just gonna keep my blush comforter that I had from DC. So I don't know if that might be too much blush. Also might have to just get an idea of what I like to order online. 
because I don't think I can deliver from the store here because it says anywhere in Manhattan and I'm in Brooklyn. I guess I found the part of New York that's like suburbia because there's a bunch of like um, department stores. There's like Bed Bath & Beyond and TJ Maxx all in the same building. So I went in and got a couple like bath towels from like little ones from TJ Maxx. So I'll have something when I get to my new apartment. I'm gonna go into Best Buy and just look at appliance options and get a sense of like how much they are here. Like coffee maker, microwave, all that fun stuff. Okay, I think this is Best Buy. Here we go. Found the microwaves. So they're all like kind of expensive. I really just like don't even need a new microwave. I feel like, well, I guess $100 is really not that bad. Um, but I could just buy like a lightly used one. Like, I don't know. Do they do that on Amazon? 89, actually this is doable. I also need to still measure the space for the microwave that's above the stove. This is $30 off right now. I'm taking pictures of labels of things that I want to look at later. Why do you need to spend $300 on a microwave? I don't understand. Does it go grocery shopping for you too? Like, let me know. This one's pretty sleek though. Ooh. Oh, I like this. There are some that do like espresso and drip coffee which are kind of expensive, but also they just take up a lot more space. So I want to get like a really small machine so it doesn't, I don't have much counter space. This would probably be the best size just because it's skinny and it can fit on the counter with a lot of different stuff. I'm realizing even more so about myself and you guys probably about me through these vlogs. It's just like how cheap I am when it comes to especially home stuff. I'm sure a lot of people are like groaning right now because like you see me like, you know, traveling for months on end and blah, blah, blah. But to me, like, like an expensive flight is worth it. But like paying $300 for a coffee maker when I could get one for like 50 bucks somewhere is not. So that's why I'm like picky about things. Like when I could find them that work fine for cheap. So that's like my goal through this move is to do it cheaply, but also like, a little more sophisticated than an inflatable couch. I'm also gonna look at some air conditioning units because I wanna get one for the window. Air conditioners, none of these are window units. Something nice about having just the studio that's small is it won't take like the most powerful, expensive AC unit to cool down the whole place or anything, you know? In the winter, if I have a space heater, it'll actually heat the space pretty efficiently because of the space. <laughs> Safe space one more time. I'm back in Brooklyn now and I just thought I would end this video so I can go edit it for you guys. There's so much happened in this vlog. The stress of me applying and being an idiot and not being prepared and what I learned from it and getting my apartment and planning all my movement and stuff. Actually, I don't even know if I said, but I'm moving in and getting the keys on Monday. I'm gonna go online and do a little more shopping and planning and Pinteresting and all that. Um, so now that you guys know that I'm getting that studio apartment. Let me know if you have ideas for the storage situation. I'll see you guys in my next vlog where I go into the apartment and do an empty apartment tour. Okay, make sure to subscribe to see all of the videos to come and how I decorate and how I move in. The movers are coming Wednesday. A lot is happening in the next few videos. So get pumped, give a thumbs up for the fact that I got an apartment and have a place to live and things are happening. Okay, I love you, bye. It's me, Howie Mandel. Click to subscribe to our channel. Don't miss all new episodes of Deal or No Deal on CNBC.